what's good y'all it's your girl jada simone and i am back once again with another video and as you can see by the title today i will be telling you why you are emotionally going through if you want it you can have it if you need it you can have it If you want it, you can have it. If you need it, you, you can have it, y'all. Say, come on, y'all. If you want it, you, 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 you can have it. If you need it, you can have it. You see how? not already make sure you subscribe to this channel give this video a big thumbs up comment and share let's get this video out there to more people who need to know the character of god so that they can submit their lives and commit their lives to god there can be so many reasons why you're emotionally going through more than i can name more than you can even think of or know and we won't know the full reason for everything that we go through now until we meet our Father, our Creator. And we won't ever know. We will be in heaven for eternity, getting to know more about God, His character, His love, ourselves, and just knowing everything that God has for us and what God wants for us. So um, as you know, things that we go through, you should know that we don't go through anything just physically, just carnally. No, these things are spiritual. Ephesians 6 verse 12. I'm going to just read that out of the New King James Version. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers, um, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. As the word says, we don't go through certain things, the emotional things that you are going through. And the reason why I'm going to just hit on emotional things is because I feel that a lot of the things that we go through affect our emotions. Our emotions are one of the, sh the things that really take a toll on us. It's one of the things that can drive us to an extreme state of maybe even depression, um, and uh, becoming stagnant and procrastinating because of our thoughts that we allow to get into our mind and that we decide to dwell on. But the reason why you can be going through, and I'm just gonna state a few here today, the enemy, there's a real life enemy as we just see, we just saw in Ephesians 6 verse 12, um, that is in the spiritual realm. And what he wants to do is steal, kill, and destroy you. And he is after your faith. So you could either be wherever you are in your walk with Christ. You can be um, going forth and pressing toward the mark of the high calling of Jesus Christ, which is what Paul, what, what Paul talked about, which is what we should all be doing. And even though you may be doing that, does that doesn't um, stop you from going through emotionally. And the devil is really, really after our minds because our minds is where we make, make it up to decide to follow Jesus. I've decided to follow Jesus, no turning back. And when we make that up in our minds, oh, the devil is going to be after you now one of the main reasons the enemy is going to try to attack you emotionally i don't care where it comes from whether it's from external people from inside yourself from you perceiving people in a certain way or certain situations in a certain way and maybe it's not even intended that way that's just how you perceived it but why why are we going through certain things that um are are seemingly so irrelevant seemingly so ineffective and unimportant and that we could have just done well without why do we go through certain things well there's a real life enemy as i stated and so once we decide and once we allow the enemy and maybe we don't decide it's just unconsciously um 
dwelling on certain things that are negative, allowing those things to get inside our mind where we start to go into a deeper state of depression or isolation or um, inadequacy or thinking on the past. The reason the devil does those things is to get you further and further back from what God has for you, to make you believe that you're not able to um, get to the level that God has for you, to get to that place that God wants for you. And we often allow that to make us lose sight of the character and the love of God and the grace and the faithfulness of God. Because God is not going to love us and save us and have grace and mercy on us because of our actions. He's going to do it just because he's good. And that's, hallelujah, that's one of the things that we often forget. The enemy will often try to make you think that if you don't meet the mark, if you miss the quota, if you mess up, if you fail, then it's over for you. That God's going to just put you up on a shelf and just leave you be and he's going to move on to to the next person when that is not the case our God can use anyone in the Bible how many characters do you know that and and, and maybe if you don't how many characters um are in the Bible that have been used by God that were unworthy unclean who have been saved sanctified Let's talk about the woman with the issue of blood. She was unclean. She had to, everywhere she went, she had to say that she was unclean. She had to let them know, and she had been fighting with this issue for 12 years. 12 years. And the moment that she touched Jesus, the hem of his garment, she received power. She received grace. She received forgiveness. She received all these things from God that was able to heal her. Make it personal for you. There's so many people. Paul, one of my favorite characters in the Bible, who was once one that persecuted Christians, someone who hurt Christians and and and. Uh, blasphemed and, and condemned Christians. But look at who he turned out to be. Someone who was an advocate for Christ, teaching us how to walk in the way. Hallelujah. So when you don't think that God can use you because of something that you've done, or if you've messed up, or you think you've gone too far, God's hand is not too far that he can't reach you. So you may be emotionally going through because the devil wants you to think that you cannot be the woman or the man that God has called you to be. When it is false, I'm telling you right now, if you've been feeling that way, get up, get up, take up your bed and walk. Take up your bed and walk. Keep going. Hallelujah. I'm thought I'm I'm um reminded of the man at the pool of Bethsaida. He had been um, uh, disabled. He was not able to be healed by going into the pool. The pool would stir. When it would stir occasionally, um, the people with these illnesses and issues would go to the pool and they would be healed. But he was never able to. He was, he was stuck in his, in his state. But when he met Jesus, when he had an encounter with Jesus, he was healed and he was not only able to just get up and walk, but he was able to leap. When you go to God, no matter what it is that you may have done, no matter um, what emotions or negative thoughts you may have th done, or thought um, go to God talk to God communicate with God have a spirit of prayer and when you have that encounter with God he is going to let you know that it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay and he's gonna give you the strength to not just get up and keep going but to push forward to excel in the things of God because you have learned more about his character another way that the enemy is going to try to um, emotionally um, detain you to um, allow you to go through emotionally is to get you to revert back to the things that are not of God to get you to revert back to the woman or the man that you used to be because now you are a new creature in Christ he's going to try to make you um, go back and revert to sin and to revert to the things that you have been saved and redeemed from and, and you have to get the idea that in, in the first point that I've made God is good he is there for you when you pray and you um, ask God for forgiveness with a sincere heart. 
He's going to save you. He's going to redeem you. The, the, our God is a God of mercy and grace. We can't even understand how merciful and graceful our God is toward us. And once you grasp that you can't understand it and that God is faithful and that God is consistent and that God is um, always wanting you to come to him no matter what it is, that is when you can learn that you don't have to be defeated by the enemy no matter what happens. I'm going to try to do that to get you to revert back to maybe your old ways or um, to make you feel that there's no hope and that God doesn't love you. And the last point that I want to make on why you may be going through emotionally is that you are going through the crushing. You are going through the beating, the pressing, and you may not understand it now. Hallelujah. You may not get it now. But eventually, when you look back years, years back um, over your life and you'll say, that's exactly why I went through that. I see why God had me go through this. And sometimes, and that's not to say that we will always understand, even eventually, we may not understand it until we get to glory. But you will be able to understand the character of God. And the more that you see the little things that God has done for a reason, because all things work together for the good of those that love God to those who are called according to his purpose, you will be able to trust him more and more. Because when you do go through through, through things emotionally, you'll be able to take it head on with a different perspective, with a perspective of patience, endurance, and peace. And you'll be able to win more spiritual battles for the kingdom of God. You'll also be able to help others who may be watching you, who may need that light that's shining in the darkness, who may need an example of, of what it means to follow Christ. So when you are going through, if it may be in a work situation, maybe you have a, a customer or a client that um, is very difficult to deal with and you continue to keep your peace, to keep your patience and to keep a smile on your face and exhibit the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness and faith, gentleness and self-control. If you maintain that posture when dealing with some difficult people, that not only encourages Encourages you to keep going and to um, strengthen your endurance and your character but it also may help that person who may never even have known or have seen what it's like to um, be a follower of Christ because someone like them may not know that you can still be kind to someone who is difficult to someone who rubs you the wrong way to someone who offends you when they see that someone's able to not take offense to certain things that they may intentionally be trying to affect you with, that may speak to them in a way that no one has ever spoken to them before because they're living, they may be living in a dark world, in a sinful world, and in a, in a, a bad state of mind that maybe you even once were. And they may think that um, all hope is lost, that everyone, um, some, everyone has it out for them or um, no one, there's no good in this world, but there still is hope. And that may give you the opportunity to introduce them to Christ to say, and, and they may say, thank you for being so kind to me. Maybe they might say something, maybe they won't. But sometimes that can give you the opportunity to say, I have Jesus in my life. And if you want to get to know him, I can tell you more about him. Or Jesus loves you. And I'm be, I'm able to dis, to show this love and this patience and kindness to you because God has shown it to me. And I am a follower of Christ and I know what it means means to follow Christ. And so that doesn't mean that you're perfect. And that doesn't mean that you are the perfect propitiation of what it means to follow Christ. But that means that you are striving and there's something in you that is connected to something higher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Although this video was relatively short, I really, really hope that you got the most out of this video that you could and if you have any more suggestions on what you want to hear from me what you may be going through what you may need inspiration advice on um and biblical sound advice help me help you i will certainly be glad to help if you've wondered where i've been things have just been happening it's December it's the winter season Christmas is coming my birthday's coming my birthday is December 27th and so I'm excited I'll be 21 and um 
yeah so things have just been going on school the semester is almost over so just bear with me guys um continue to subscribe continue to turn on those post notifications to get notifications every single time i post um i'm rocking with you guys so please continue to just rock with me and i'm following god on his direction with all of this i'm just trusting god so just please keep me in your prayers as i'm going to keep you in mind ask god to just give me direction and um purpose and just insight and spiritual ma spiritual maturity and discernment um according to his will um and so um it has been a pleasure to just talk to you guys about um why you may be emotionally going through um like i said if you have any other suggestions let me know you can inbox me um on instagram or facebook or even comment on this video or i think you can direct message me here on youtube so i will see you guys in my next video stay tuned bye guys <laughs>